Hi guys, today we will be learning how to tie cravats such as these silk ones here that I made. This is for history bounding and other things of the sort. The first one that we'll be doing is a common knot. You might recognize this as the half Windsor knot that is used in common tie tying. <laughs> You'll cross one side over the other, tuck one underneath the other again, and over top. You'll then thread that same piece up and underneath, and through, just like that, and then tuck it inside of that knot piece there. Fluff it out at the ends. There's another variant on this, same exact knot. You do the same exact thing all over again, one over the other, wrapping it all the way around, and up and through. But this time as you're doing it, you need to be fluffing it. Make it extra big in the knot area, and extra big, and fluffed out in all the areas. This is a more interesting and bigger version of this knot. This next one is a simple day tie. You'll do a simple knot, but just tuck it over top. You most likely need a cravat pin for this, otherwise it won't hold. So for this you'll start off with the same tuck. I like to use my thumb to keep this in place while I tie through it. Pull it through the hole and tie it. It's just a regular square knot that's in a formal occasion setting. <laughs> this one is very accurate to the Victorian era for men's dress. These next two are variations on the Regency style, or Mr. Darcy style. The look of this era was to wrap the cravat around your neck a few times. Mine isn't quite long enough to do more than once or twice. This is the normal tuck that I showed you before, just around the neck once. This one should be the same way, but my tie isn't nearly long enough to go all that way and also do a nice little bow. But I hope you get the idea. Tie a bow like you normally would, fluff it out, and you're ready to go. And I'm ready to go too, I have a birthday to celebrate, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching, bye.